Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how to find the inverse of a matrix by Cayley Hamilton theorem. Okay, so by using this theorem, we are going to find the inverse of a given matrix. Now here is the question: find the inverse of the matrix A 1, 1, 3, 1, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 4, and minus 4. Okay. So first step is to find the characteristic equation of the given matrix. How we can find the characteristic equation? By the general definition that is the determinant of A minus lambda i where lambda will be the uh, root or we can say the eigenvalue. i is the identity matrix which is equated to 0. From that you will get one equation that is nothing but characteristic equation or you can do by another formula that is lambda cube for the 3 cross 3 matrix minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 equal to 0 where s1 is the sum of the diagonal elements and s2 is the minus or the cofactors of the diagonal elements sum of that okay and s3 is the determinant of the given matrix from that equation also you can find the characteristic equation okay this is also another way to find the characteristic equation by then we will go by the general form that is a minus lambda i which is equal to 0. So that means a matrix here to minus lambda i. So diagonal elements will be subtracted by what minus lambda. So 1 minus lambda 3 minus lambda like that same thing only diagonal elements you have to observe minus lambda that thing. Okay for that you have to find the determinant for that what you have to do I will select the first row this into so this 1 minus lambda into this into this minus this into this that's what I have done minus 4 into minus 3 it's 12 minus sign is there anyways and here second one you have to put the minus sign and then find out the uh, determinant respect to this okay so after all this you will you have to equate it to what 0 I hope you know how to find the determinant of this okay otherwise you can watch the video of that also I have put now after that after simplifying all this term you have to multiply and just simplify you will get the last term that is this lambda cube minus 20 lambda plus 8 equal to 0. Now the thing is that after this you have to see the Cayley Hamilton theorem where in case it's what is that Hamilton theorem basically it every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation that means I can replace lambda with what a okay what are matrix you are denoted with so I will replace lambda with a so so remember you have to write this after so we can write just by Cayley Hamilton theorem we can say that every square matrix this is a square matrix it satisfies its own characteristic equation therefore I can replace lambda with a okay and here 8 so 8 is a constant so I have to just place it with what I remember this that means you have to form a matrix of the same order so I will be of order what 3 cross 3 now after this I have to find what inverse our intention is to find what in inverse so for that what you need to do you have to just multiply the whole thing with a inverse so a inverse into a cube minus 20 a into a inverse plus 8i into a inverse which is equal to 0. I hope you know one property based on a inverse that is nothing but when you a into a inverse is equal to identity matrix okay so a inverse into I will take from this one a so it becomes a square so a inverse into a is i so I have to just replace with this one as a square you can put i also anyways it's same minus 20 a into a inverse is nothing but i plus a into a inverse into i a inverse into i becomes what a inverse equal to what 0 8 is there put 8 that's it you have to just observe it's a, we are using the same formulas for all these things we are just shifting it to other side now after forming this what you need to do you have to find a square first you will take a inverse on keep a inverse on one side and others on the other side so a inverse is equal to we can say 1 by 8 20i minus a square so here in case you have to find the a square a square means square this 
a square what is the meaning of a square you have to multiply a twice okay don't square this elements and keep so you have to multiply a into a i hope you know how to multiply and all so i have just multiplied it so 1 by 8 into 20 is there into what is i i is nothing but 100 zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one. minus a square a square i have found out already you can just find it out so it is 10 22 6 2 2 22 so here we have now the thing is that you have to just now here 20 you have to just subtract this so it is 20 minus minus of minus 4 this becomes what so I can just tell 24 okay now minus 8 minus of minus it becomes plus then here 0 again it becomes plus plus 12 here 0 so it becomes minus 10 I hope you know how to subtract the matrices minus 2 20 minus 22 is minus 2 then 0 minus 6 is minus 6 then 0 minus 2 is minus 2 0 minus 2 is minus 2 and 1 that means 20 minus 22 is again minus 2 and here we have the answer so this is the final answer you can just check it up whether it is correct or not or by using calculator so i hope you know how to calculate the or how to find the inverse using the calculator or you can just watch my video i have made it on that also so i hope you understood this concept it's pretty simple what you need to do i'll just explain briefly so a minus scatters equation is the first step next there are two methods to find anyways it is fine to go by any of the method then by using Cayley hamilton theorem you have to just replace lambda whatever root is there with a because since you have to find a inverse you have to just multiply with a inverse we have to use this property and just simplify it and from that you have to keep a inverse on one side and others on the other side in order to find the a inverse so you have to just subtract and all you will get the answer that's it